My name is Megan Gill. I live in Roanoke now, and I'm an executive chef. Megan, please. A shrimp and chorizo enchilada with Colby cheese. I'm at Stefano's on the market with Chef Megan Gill. Uh, she's not only is a chef here at Stefano's, but she's also one of the finalists for Hell's Kitchen. Is that right? I am. Yeah, so we're getting down to the very end now, The aren't final we? two, yeah. It's very exciting. That's one of the best enchiladas I've ever tasted. Congratulations, Megan. Good job. You've been a favorite of everybody, and everybody's rooting for you. So how has the journey been for you so far? Um, it's been it's been a roller coaster. Um, when I'm watching it, it is the first time that I'm watching it. So the emotions of oh my god, what did they say? Mm -hmm. um, you know, did I really remember it this way? Um, it's that roller coaster of emotions uh, is in its own. Um, and then to have the support of the community when I go out, when I go to eat dinner somewhere else, uh, you know, they come up to me and people come up to me and they're like, oh, are you, oh, Megan, and I'm like, yeah, that's me. Um, yeah. And it's you know, it's a little strange, but. Uh, it's, it's welcomed and um, it's just, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it is really cool and everybody's really impressed. You've done a great job keeping your cool. Thank there you. is absolutely no way. I told you the first, the first time Chef Ramsey yelled at me, I'd say, I'm going to go make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm not going to do this anymore. So how have you been able to like keep your cool? Um, I think it's because I, you know, I trained uh, pretty intensely uh, for about five years and um, I was trained under people that were like Chef Ramsey and uh, you know it was yes yeah, chef, no chef, I don't understand chef, that's all you said. Um, and when he started screaming and yelling, you put your head down and you fought through it and you cooked yeah. and that was what you did so the next day you had a job and you were still on the line. Yeah. Um, and the person that didn't, trust me, there were people knocking down the door to get into that spot. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you had to, you know, be firm and hold your ground and say, okay, he's not doing this to just yell at me. Trust me, he doesn't want to yell. He doesn't want service to go bad. Um, he just wants it done and he wants it done right. Yeah, and I guess kind of like filtering out who can't do it too, if you yeah. can't handle it then. Yeah, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Oh yeah, that <laughs> makes perfect sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, well you've done a great job and I'm really excited because today she's actually going to cook something for me. We've had them in our daytime kitchen several times and now I'm getting to go to your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate it. So we're going to go back and you're going to fix... cook up some ricotta cavatelli dumplings. All right, sounds yeah. delicious. All good. <laughs> Now we're back in your kitchen. So tell me, what does this dish entail? Uh, this is a the uh, ricotta cavatelli dumpling. Um, okay. It's something that's on our menu uh, right now. Instead of a regular pasta dough, which is just flour and egg, uh, we incorporate ricotta cheese into it. Um, so you take uh, take ricotta cheese, uh, egg yolk, semolina flour, which okay. is like a polenta. Okay. Um, and then regular all-purpose flour. Okay. Uh, we're gonna mix this dough, or the dough takes a little while to rest, so let's say that we incorporate all that. Um, this is the end result. Uh, okay. You run this through the Cavatelli machine, oh. which is a hand crank, and you you know crank out each, each little dumpling with love. Um, That's why it tastes so good, right? It's yes, really absolutely, <laughs> always. Um, and then, this, <laughs> This is your end result here. Um, yes, I unfortunately don't make my own pasta at home, but <laughs> I've had, had fresh pasta before, and there is a big difference. Huge, huge difference. And we make uh, all of our pastas here in-house, um, so that kind of it separates us a little bit. This sauce that I'm putting on it is uh, like a basil pesto. Yes, it smells fantastic. <laughs> Uh, it has a little bit of garlic, basil, lemon zest, which kind of uh, lifts it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I like putting lemon zest in everything. Yeah. It kind of redoes the palate every time you take a bite of it. Okay. Wow, Chef, that looks beautiful, and I cannot wait to try it. Mm. The kind of the gnocchi thing, mm -hmm. like the, the softer. Thing, okay. Yeah. Big difference than. Um, pasta back in the store. Fantastic, and I can tell this is a winning dish. Thank you, Chef. This is delicious. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow night to Fox and watch Hell's Kitchen. This tasted like a winner to me, but we're all going to be watching tomorrow to see the end result, and we're rooting for you. Thank you, thank you. You're also a prime candidate in there to start emerging as a leader. All right. Okay. okay.